leafy sea dragon. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I got, Hero. It's a marine aquarium, and it has special saltwater plants in it. Look at that pretty seaweed, Hero. It looks like it has eyes. <gasps> it moved. Did you see that too? What do you think? Is this seaweed or an animal? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Are you there, Katie? I just sent you a photo of something in my new aquarium. Hi, Leo. Is that seaweed? It looks like seaweed, but it has eyes. And it moved. Can you find out what it is? Of course. I've already started looking. Great. See you soon. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. So what is it? You won't believe it, Leo. It's an animal. The name of this animal is the leafy sea dragon. It's a type of fish. Leafy sea dragons are similar to the more famous seahorses. It looks more like seaweed than a seahorse. I wonder if it eats seaweed. No, it doesn't. The leafy sea dragon is a carnivore which means it feeds on other animals like tiny shellfish and shrimp. It has a mouth that looks like a straw, which it uses to suck up its food. So there's no food for the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. The aquarium isn't a good home for the leafy sea dragon anyway. It needs to live in the sea, where there's plenty of food for it. And the best place for leafy sea dragons is in the waters of southern Australia. That's the only place in the world where they can be found and also where they can be safe. There are laws in Australia to protect leafy sea dragons. People are not allowed to remove these rare animals from the sea without permission. Then let's take the leafy sea dragon back home so it can stay where it's protected. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two. We go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the beach. Ah, I see you have a leafy sea dragon with you today. It was in my marine aquarium, Ranger Rocky. I thought it was a piece of seaweed. Leafy sea dragons use their appearance to help them hide from predators. They live in or around seaweed beds and seagrass meadows, so marine animals don't notice them. Healthy leafy sea dragons can even change their color to look more like the seaweed they are hiding in. Leafy sea dragons can swim, but very slowly. They use the fins on their necks and tails to move and turn. Despite being slow swimmers, they can travel long distances to look for food. Leafy sea dragons are always looking for food. They have no stomach, which means food goes through their bodies quickly. Because of that, they have to eat constantly. That is why it is not easy for leafy sea dragons to survive outside of their natural home. That's one of the reasons why we're taking this leafy sea dragon back to its home, Ranger Rocky. Look for an area where the seawater is clean. If the water is polluted, the seaweed and seagrass in the water will die. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a beach, but I see dirty water flowing out from the pipes into the sea. And on this side is another beach. 
It's quiet, and the water looks clean. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a beach with dirty water flowing into the sea. And over there is a quiet beach with clean seawater. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to this beach because the water looks clean. Let's go! Ranger Rocky, you got here fast. What's going on? I want to make sure nobody comes too close. A storm just hit this area, and it washed a heap of seaweed ashore. Leafy sea dragons live among seaweed, so they often get washed ashore with the seaweed when the waters get rough. Oh, no! So there might be leafy sea dragons lying in the seaweed? I'm afraid so, Katie. I'm looking through the seaweed to find them. I want to put them back in the water quickly so that they'll survive. We'll help you, Ranger Rocky. That would be great. Come in. Look, I just found a leafy sea dragon in this pile of seaweed. If you find any leafy sea dragons, put them in here. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Good job, Junior Rangers. We found all the leafy sea dragons. Since we're taking our leafy sea dragon back to its natural home, we can also bring these, Ranger Rocky. That's wonderful, Leo. Please, take this. But what should we look for now? If you want to find the leafy sea dragons a home, just look for a lot of sea grass in the sea, not for a busy bee or a rusty old key. But look for a lot of seagrass in the sea. I see. So not for a busy bee or a rusty old key, but, but look, look for a lot, lot of seagrass sea in, in the sea. sea. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the leafy sea dragons a home, you have to look for a lot of seagrass in the sea. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a good home for the leafy sea dragons. Is that a good home for the leafy sea dragons? No, there are fishing nets in the sea. Leafy sea dragons can get caught in them. Let's look somewhere else. So how about this place? Hmm, it's quiet, but there is no seagrass in the water. Next! Is this a good home for the leafy sea dragons? Yes, it is. There is a lot of seagrass in the sea. Well done, Hero. We're coming over. Look at how much seagrass there is. This will be a great home for the leafy sea dragons. There they go. Stay safe, leafy sea dragons. We did it. We found the leafy sea dragons a home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! found a leafy sea dragon in my marine aquarium. We learned that leafy sea dragons are very rare animals that look like seaweed. They hide in seaweed so that other animals can't spot them. And we took the leafy sea dragon home to Australia because leafy sea dragons are protected there. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished! Hey kids, did you know a true zoologist devotes her career to studying animals in the wild? But maybe it's time to get a little wilder. Our animal of the day is the red panda. 
Run, Jai, run! It's a good thing elephants can't climb trees. Red pandas spend most of their lives in trees. They even sleep lying on the branches. When it gets cold at night, they wrap their bushy tails around their body for warmth. Mmm, that looks delicious. Jai sure loves his fruits. Red pandas have a real taste for bamboo, but they also eat other foods like fruits, acorns, roots, and eggs. Now that's a balanced diet. Wow, look at Jai go. I guess monkey bars are for red pandas too. While it looks like they have thumbs, red pandas actually have an extension of their wrist bone that lets them swing from branch to branch. Good work, troopers. Let's see how else our animal friends back at the zoo are being more than just a little one. Yeah. 
We're distant relatives. But we weren't pranking you. We just wanted to help. Oswald and Chewy are at the Bake Off right now. And they can't do it without you. They need your help. You're not going to let them down, are you? Ha, 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 ha,